Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nani Yasmin, and for this week's video, I wanted to give you guys an apartment tour. I will be moving out soon. This has been the one and only apartment that I've stayed in since I've been in Taiwan, so it's been two and a half years, and it's time to move on. So before I do so, I wanted to just show you guys my apartment and with that being said let's jump right in this is what you see as soon as you walk through the front door and this is pretty much the entire first floor of the apartment so right in front of you you have the living space to the left of the door is the kitchenette area to the right is the bathroom so let's go ahead and just go straight into that okay so this is the bathroom here is the shower so this is considered a wet room, which is something very common in Taiwan, which basically means your shower is not separate from the rest of the bathroom. You don't have a curtain or anything to separate it. So technically when I take a shower, everything in the bathroom gets wet. But um, of course I chose this apartment because the views, the windows are just beautiful. I absolutely love it. Straight ahead we have a mirror and a sink. And as you can see, there's the drains. So there's really no problem with having a wet room. I don't mind it at all. Once I'm done taking my shower, I just use the mop to clean everything up. Here is behind the door. We have a little bit of storage, not a ton. I'm not gonna go into detail with everything that's in my bathroom. I just wanted to give you guys a visual of what you can find in Taiwan. Here it's a scale we have in the corner. And then behind the door, we just have a little hook to hang our towels. So I'm in a corner unit, which is why my bathroom has this weird shape to it. The shower head is detachable, so it's really easy to, you know, spray everywhere and clean the entire bathroom. And then of course, we just use this ledge here as storage. And then tucked away in this corner, we have the toilet. So I'll back up here. Now I'm in the shower. And that is pretty much my entire bathroom. Here is the kitchenette of the apartment. It is on the other side of the front door. So this is the background you guys always see in my videos. Right next to the door is our shoe rack. This is where we take our shoes off at the door and wear slippers around the house. And right next to the rack is our electric hot plate. So this is what we use to prepare all of our meals. We did buy this, it didn't come with the apartment. It works just the same as any other electric stove would. The only downside is it is only one eye, so our meals take a lot longer to prepare, opposed to a traditional kitchen that has four to five burners. And here's just some storage. The kitchen is not fully equipped, so it doesn't come with a ton of space, but we do make it work. I have just a bunch of stuff in here that we're leaving for the next tenant. It's our friend who's taking over the lease. And in that second drawer, we just have some Tupperware for him that we're gonna leave as well. And then in this drawer here are the cleaning supplies that we use for the apartment that we're also gonna leave for him as well so that he has something to get started with. And under the sink has a little bit of storage as well. I forgot to show that. Here is the actual kitchen sink. And then above that, we have our drying rack. For when we wash the dishes and right beside that is where we keep all of our seasonings and spices there's a bit more storage at the top and then next to all of that is the fridge and microwave just like the rest of the kitchen the fridge was also not a full size as we continue to move along this entire section is like makeshift for extra storage just because i lack a ton of that in the apartment so i do have like a blender i have a grill an oven and just a space where i can keep extra things that i need for the kitchen so it's not really appealing but it is functional and that is most important in this kind of space now we're looking at the living area of the apartment. This is where I spend majority of my time. We just have a little couch as well as a coffee table. They did come with the apartment, so all the furniture that you see 
I did not have to buy, which is great for foreigners like myself who don't want to invest in those kind of pieces while living abroad. There's also a TV and some storage on the other side and we've just completed a full circle of kind of the first floor of the apartment. So I think we're ready to take a look upstairs. Here's just one final little overview of the first floor. Here's a closer look at the staircase. There is also an AC unit on both floors of this apartment. And this is my favorite part of the apartment. Of course, the huge windows and high ceilings. I was pleasantly surprised when I was doing my apartment search and I saw this apartment. I knew this is where I wanted to stay and I was really happy when everything, you know, worked out. This is why I've stayed here for two and a half years. I just really enjoy the view and the sunlight I get in the apartment. Um, yeah, this was definitely why I chose this space. So we use upstairs really to just sleep. That's the second AC unit I mentioned. The first one is downstairs. We didn't do much up here aside from sleeping. There is a lot of space but not a lot of storage. So there is room to get creative and kind of figure out a way to, you know, have your clothes and closet set up. But right now we just have the other half of the couch. The other half was also downstairs and the apartment also came with this bar stool. Here in the back we have even more windows. So as I mentioned before, this is a corner unit. So it is a bit bigger than the other apartments in the building. I did move my mattress around over the course of the two and a half years. This is just where it's ended up recently. But yeah, as you can see, it's just a big open space. It leaves you a lot of room to be creative with your setup. I apologize for the clothes everywhere. We're literally moving out, y'all, so I didn't try to make it look perfect. This is my apartment. <laughs> Okay, everyone, so that concludes my impromptu apartment tour. Just a few quick details about this apartment. This is in Shinju City, Taiwan. Um, I've been here the entire two and a half years that I've lived here, and I pay 12,000 NTD a month plus Wi Fi, which is another 400. So, 12,400 every month comes to about 440 USD. I consider it a loft. It's not a one bedroom, but it's not a studio. It has one bathroom. The apartment did come furnished. And there is laundry on site. It's on the rooftop of the um, apartment building. So, you do have to pay for that, but it is on site. And I think that's it. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Also, I found this apartment through a Facebook group. I just searched Shinju City Apartments and there was a Facebook group there and there were plenty of spaces and this one fortunately was available before I moved to Taiwan. So that is how I found this place. Um, so you can use that as a source. You can also use a website called 591. It is in Chinese. They don't have an English version available, but you are able, if you can find a way to navigate that website, it could also be useful for you to find apartments. And of course, through me and my husband's business, tzip.com. I will leave the link down below in this description box. If you are looking for housing or an English teaching job, we are available to help you that way as well. But yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you always for tuning in and supporting, and I will see you guys next time.